What's up, this is Jake with Hike734. Hiking in the Old Faithful area, I paired together a few different trails to create a loop of sorts. Um, I started out at Mallard Creek Trail, followed that up to Mallard Lake, followed the Mallard Lake Trail down to Old Faithful, and now I'm working my way along the Upper Geyser Basin and then Power Line, tra Power Line Trail all the way back to my car. But anyway, it started out at the Mallard Creek Trail and that trail is um, pretty steep and it's just a haul of trees. It's a haul of lodge, younger lodgepole. So it definitely wasn't my favorite hike of the day or the favorite part of the day. And, um, but it, it's really interesting with the, the terrain here with the, all the igneous rock and stuff, it creates a lot of these mounds. And so you spend a lot of time mostly going up, but going up and down and up and down. And um, you, you follow the Mallard Creek and you don't really, it was actually dry when I was hiking it. And you don't really get a lot of um, views of it, but every once in a while you do and definitely cool, a great terrain for pikas and whatnot. Saw some osprey nests there towards the beginning, couple of them. And uh, anyways, but not a whole lot really to talk about, not a lot to see, you know, not really my favorite hiking. Um, of course, as I got higher up, it got more sparse, which was nice. Um, so you could look into the trees a little bit more. You could look out a little bit more. Um, it was really cool to look back and see Grand Prismatic uh, with, the, with the hordes of people um, <laughs> looking at it. So that was kind of a, a fun little take on it. And um, anyways, probably my favorite part, actually my favorite part of that of that stretch was this really amazing overlook that you get. And actually, if you hike the Mallard Lake Trail, you should scramble up the Mallard Creek Trail just to get to this overlook, because it's pretty sweet. And saw some pikas and saw um, my only large animal, which was, was this uh, deer here. But anyways, saw a few ducks on the pond. No mallards, but I think they're all golden eyes. And uh, they're pretty far out there. But really, really cool spot. It's actually, it looks like an amazing spot to camp. So, you know, if you're looking for a cool spot to camp in Yellowstone. But anyway, started walking out of the Mallard Lake Trail. And that was a really great trail. As I was hiking that, I just was really noticing the older stand of trees. You could really see into them. And I really liked that. It was just overall very, very cool. Um, I liked it because you're just in the trees, but you still are looking out. and. Um, Later on, I got into some meadows, which was cool, and um, eventually started working my way down, and there's this almost like this gates feeling that you go through, and I'm getting into these really large, um, just these boulder fields, and just these really cool, you know, lava flow, rock formation, goodness, and um, just this really cool canyon, worked my way down that, and then just kind of got into more of that open lodgepole, and um, this where it's kind of a, I don't know, middle-aged lodgepole forest. I don't even know if that's a thing, but it just kind of just that, um, that sort of a look where you're, like I said, you're looking into the trees quite a bit, sparse, open stuff. So you don't feel as claustrophobic and like something like a bear is gonna jump right out and the first time you see him is he's 10 feet from you. So anyways, really cool there. And gradually it it um, works down. You kind of alternate into, you know, some, some tighter stuff, some more open stuff, some older stands of trees, which is cool. Um, some, some cool meadows, lots of squirrels, that kind of stuff. Then started working my way down and came across this little spring. And uh, basically you follow this spring down for the most part, down into the lower, and then you get into this a nice older stand of lodgepole and um, yeah, just really, really cool area. And then eventually you come over to the uh, Firehole River and uh, you cross over that. And then it's a little confusing for me because they're doing some construction, but you'll come through this, um, it looks like just kind of a motel, individual cabins kind of a thing. But anyways, but from there went to the very busy Old Faithful area. And um, I worked my way up to observation point first. And um, you know, that like a lot of the Old Faithful area is, starts out with as a paved trail. And, um, and then gradually it, it kind of works to a boardwalk and then, you know, goes into the trees and then starts working its way up on a regular old dirt trail. And I just, Worked my way up there and then it forms a loop towards the top. So it doesn't matter at the junction if you, um, well, there's a first junction that goes to the upper geyser basin, but the second junction, um, you actually might even miss that, but just, just follow the trail. It'll go all the way up to the top. I don't need to explain it all. You go up to the top, you get a really cool look of the upper geyser basin and the old faithful area. And then you'll come back around to a point and then you'll work your way back down. And there's another junction and I took that up and that took me over to um, I believe the solitary geyser 
And uh, so that was cool. And it erupts not very big, but pretty frequently. So it's nice that you could go ahead and see that. And then uh, came down and um, kind of timed it well with Old Faithful erupting. I got to see it from a different angle than I saw it earlier this spring. But then just the whole Upper Geyser Basin is just crazy, crazy, crazy. There are just so many like pools and geysers and you know great mats and um, I honestly like if I was going to show everything this thing would be like 30 minutes long so um, while I'm talking here I'm just going to keep kind of showing different uh, different pools and, and just um, cones and you know some of the geysers are cool even when they're not erupting like the beehive geyser and um, yeah it was just really great just to see um, just more of this cool geothermal. It's always amazing how in one area you can have a crazy variety of different types of geothermal features. So definitely dynamic and, and whatnot. And so I sort of started working my way um, further, I guess it'd be west along the, the Geyser Basin and ended up coming over to um, just a bunch of pools and you know, more geysers and ended up coming up at a perfect, I timed it perfectly accidentally to go ahead and see um, the Riverside geyser erupting and that thing was fantastic. And so, yeah, really cool to see that guy. And then just got to see just a bunch of these geysers, big and small. And it was just really cool because the trail just kind of trickles on um, over the Firehole River and just to a bunch of these really great features. Um, and of course I'm watching it in the evening. So the sun's setting and it's just, you know, fantastic. And then I got to see the famous morning glory pool, which was beautiful and fantastic. And then, um, yeah, so just working my way over towards the Biscayne Basin area. And then, um, you know, got to see one last little pool here as my camera is barely able to capture the light. And then um, anyways, now it's, uh, it's getting time to, uh, you know, head up the power line trail, which is just a walk in the woods of following the power line. So nothing very fantastic about that. But anyways, that's my big loop. This is Jake with Hike 734, hiking the Mallard Creek, Mallard Lake, Upper Geyser, and a little bit of the power line trail in Yellowstone National Park. If you like this video, subscribe on YouTube and head over to hike734.com for more goodness.